Okay. Well, let's begin with the prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Dear Lord, I thank you for gathering us here tonight in your name. I thank you for the faith you have given to everyone here and all the graces you've given to all of us. We come here today from many different backgrounds, for many different reasons, but we are all here for the same fundamental reason, to fulfill the destiny for which you made us, to grow in knowledge of you and in love of you, that we might better serve you in this life, that we might be happy with you, share in your life and happiness for all eternity. We thank you, Lord, for the identity you have given us in, in your name and the mission you have given us and most of all, the destiny you have given us. We ask you to bless this year as we journey together growing in knowledge and love of you, that we may serve you better. We ask you, we ask you to bless us in every way, to send your Holy Spirit upon us, to enlighten our minds and inflame our hearts, that we might help one another to reach the destiny for which you have made us. We ask all these things in your most holy name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Okay, well, welcome. It's great to see all of you at full room here. Uh, my name is Father Jerome Seiler. I am a assistant. Uh, I am a parochial vicar here. That sounds really nice, parochial vicar. So I like to use that. <laughs> that one as opposed to assistant to the pastor. <laughs> no. uh, I was ordained last year, May 26, 2012. I'm wearing this habit because I'm a Dominican. Dominicans uh, uh, are, were founded by St. Dominic in the 13th century to live a life of contemplation, to communal study and prayer that pour us over into preaching for the salvation and sanctification of souls. So that's what I gave my life for, and it's one of the best decisions I ever made. And uh, yes, I was ordained last year. I helped in the RCIA last year. This will be my second year helping here. And I helped in the RCIA uh, uh, two or three years before that as well. So it is uh, one of my favorite ministries. And uh, I will be the chaplain of the RCIA this year. I could go on, but we're going to give brief introductions today. <laughs> And I'd like to introduce to you Father Esther. Hello, everyone, and welcome. We're all happy to see you here. My name is Father Ezra Sullivan. I know a number of you uh, personally. We've met at some point or time, maybe after mass, or um, you know, just talking, or I know some of your family members or friends. So it's great to see you here. I am uh, I'm a priest. I was ordained uh, a year before Father Jerome. I'm originally from California, so I hope you don't blame me for that. Um, <laughs> people say it's the left coast, so, well, it's true. <laughs> um, we, uh, as Dominicans, we are somewhat itinerant, so Father Jerome and I studied in Washington, D.C. We were out there for six years. Actually, Father Jerome, I'll get embarrassed him for a second. Um, he was there a little bit longer because he, he lived in Washington, D.C. before he became a priest. And he worked at a, um, it was a TGI Fridays, is that right? No. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? I'm not helping you. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those, you know. Uh, <laughs> but he has stories, I won't tell the stories. Yeah, this is something that he can do. Uh, but they're funny, so uh, anyway, so I've been here for a few years now, and um, I work largely with uh, the adult faith formation, and so, um, you know, right now I have a series on spiritual warfare, we're doing that on Thursday nights, we've just started that, it's very exciting, so we're glad that you're here, we know, as Father Jerome said, you're here for all sorts of different reasons, and you're here primarily because you have a question, and the question is, what should I think about the Catholic Church? 
Is there truth here? Is there goodness? How does this relate to me? And so we're going to try to answer a lot of your questions. I know there are a lot of things that people wonder about the church. Um, you know, do, uh, do priests make money? Do priests, um, can we marry? No. And, um, and so what we'll try to do is talk about a lot of those different issues. Confession and um, do, we, uh, do we worship the Pope? Somebody told me just recently that, um, that you know, her, uh, her father is convinced that we think the Pope is God. And I said, wow, that's amazing. We can elect God. <laughs> <laughs> so who knows what, where God will be from next? He's from Argentina right now. No, so obviously that's not the case. But what we'll try to do is also address some of those myths, and we'll try to um, you know, discover what the truth is behind some of this um, you know, mythology that's grown up. So enough about me, more about someone else. Are you going to introduce everybody? Uh, yeah, just no okay. start our introductions in that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Gary, do we, we just stay stand where we are? That's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hi everybody. My name is Gary Norris, member of the parish and the RCIA ministry here at St. Gertrude. And it's uh, great to see so many of you here tonight. And we look forward to getting to know each of you more as we go forward. Okay, uh, I am Jake Krempel. Uh, I've been a par uh, parishioner here for four years. And this is my second year doing RCIA. My better half, my wife Angela, um, helped last year. She's going to help this year on Sundays with breaking up in the Word, but she can't be here because we have a four-month-old daughter at home. So if you like baby pictures, I'm more than willing to share them. <laughs> so, she's an adorable baby she's in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Thank you, Jake. Mm -hmm. uh, and Sheila? I'm Sheila Salfell. I tried to meet almost all of you when we came in. Um, I'm probably uh, the oldest person here, so just be nice to me. <laughs> um, I've been a parishioner here for eight years, and um, as I was saying to somebody just a couple minutes ago, um, every single year, this is the fourth year I've helped out with RCIA, and every single year I learn something new. So even if you're just here you know, with your person that you're bringing in, and you are a cradle Catholic, you're going to learn stuff this year. It's going to be exciting. Uh, and now Dave is with us. He was part of the team last year. Yes. And you might decide to be part of the team again now. <laughs> He's going to be part of the Breaking Open the Word yes. team, which will start later. Yeah. But uh, would you just like to say a few words? Oh, sure, Father. Yeah, I'm Dave Ledwin. Uh, I was on the team um, for a number of years. And uh, so this year I'll be helping out with um, another part of the, the team, which will be later uh, on in the year. So it's great to see you, but I wanted to come this evening and uh, see everybody, so I'll be trying to attend you know, periodically uh, as like my schedule allows, so yeah, I think it's, it's a great program, I think you're going to learn a lot, and it's uh, great to see you all here this evening. Okay, great. Now, I do have on the schedule that if everyone could say their name in just a couple of sentences, that's why they're here, but uh, we're not going to do that. <laughs> now later we're going to start, uh, because there's a lot of people <laughs> Thank God. But uh, later we're going to have, um, we're going to break up into small groups and uh, there'll be time later to, I do want to make that a part of this where we come to know each other and, uh, and really, you know, there'll be time for that later. So, uh, okay. Uh, for now, there's many things I want to make sure I cover so I have a detailed <laughs> Uh, schedule of things here, but for all those who are seeking to enter the church, uh, before you leave, uh, please do take the Catechism of the Catholic Church, the New American Bible, and the Catechism for Adults. Those are three books free we give to you, uh, uh, which we want you all to have. All of you who uh, you might not be sure whether you want to enter the Catholic Church, but you're here to learn. And if you're here to learn, and you think you might be back next meeting, the books are yours. So those three books, we want you to have those books, okay? So a New American Bible, a Catechism of the Catholic Church, and the Catechism for Adults put out by the Bishop's Conference. We 
we want you all to have those. And uh, uh, for those of you who will, who will be continuing on for either baptism or for confirmation in the Catholic Church, or for those of you who just have, have been baptized and confirmed but just want to know more about the faith, uh, these books are for you, <laughs> okay? So please do take them, they're free. Uh, okay, please do take them before you leave though because we're, we also will have readings, just like 10 pages or less, usually about eight pages uh, over the course of a week for each class. I'm going to assign a reading from that, almost always from the Catholic Catechism for Adults, uh, to prepare you for the class. So uh, uh, that will begin assigned readings. Unfortunately, will begin next week. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, okay. Let's see. So then again. Just to make sure, if all of you who are seeking to enter the church, if you could fill out that information form, it's very helpful to us. Uh, and we can include you on the emails. This, again, this is being videotaped. We're going to send that out on the email. So if there's anything you want to look over again, uh, 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 or yeah, if you want to watch that later, and all upcoming events and all the information, there's going to be a weekly email, OK? All right, great. Uh, and uh, let's see. Uh, okay. All right, well now I will just give an overview of the RCIA process. I think I made like a perfect number of these. <laughs> this is a tentative schedule for the whole RCIA year. So let me see. Uh, maybe just like a couple short here. We, 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 we yeah. ours already. <laughs> Is it yours? Okay. Uh, yes. If you can share, share. I will put this uh, in an email as well. Uh, I will attach this in the email as well. But I just want to give you an overview of the whole RCI here. This is, some of these things may change, but it is at least 95% accurate, <laughs> okay. Okay, so again, the RCIA stands for Right Christian Initiation for Adults. It's, it's the, now a right is a, is a uh, ceremonious, often religious <laughs> act. Uh, that's what a rite is. So this is. This whole rite is endorsed, promulgated by the church from the Vatican in Rome <coughs> as a way to bring those who are not in full communion with the church, who are seeking full communion with the church, to inform them. And through that information, give them the choice, an informed choice, to decide, do I want to enter the church or not? Uh, and then, if you do decide to, you do decide, yes, I do believe this, and I do want to continue on this journey, then we continue. Uh, and, and it's for those who have been baptized. We as Catholics, if anyone is baptized with this formula, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, with the intention to baptize, with the pouring of water over the head, or immersion in water. That's a valid baptism. We accept that as a true sacrament. Um, so if anyone is baptized in that way, they are validly baptized. But we, if they would like to be confirmed in the Catholic Church, the RCIA is for them which that's most people uh, in the RCIA. Some have not been baptized or confirmed, so the RCIA is for them as well. Some have been baptized and confirmed in the Catholic Church, but they want to know more about their faith. They haven't ever had the opportunity of being fully catechized, fully informed of what the faith is. The, catechist, the RCIA is for them as well. So that's what we're here for. So the main... Uh, what we do at the RCIA is catechize. 
that's what the whole thing is about. And here is a schedule of what we're going to be going through. Uh, I just want to give you an overview. Uh, so it's basically there's four sections. We're going to go through the doctrine that the Catholic Church teaches. Um, all matters of faith, who God is, who Christ is, what the church is, um, how God reveals himself to us, who we are, all of these things. Uh, that's the first section, doctrine. The second section, we decided to make the section of morality. We're going to teach you all that the church teaches about morality. Uh, we're going to go through our schema for going through that is the Ten Commandments. Uh, and we're going to teach you all the church teaches about the Ten Commandments. That way, early on, you know what the church teaches about morality. You know what, what uh, expectations the church has for those who belong to the church. We wanted to do that before we did sacraments. There are seven sacraments. Um, that's the third section. We are going to go through and explain each sacrament in detail. And then the fourth section is, uh, it's mostly prayer and the life of devotion that we live as, as Catholics. We will present all of that to you. Uh, now, for those who decide to be baptized and or confirmed in the Catholic Church, uh, there are two main events. The one is, it'll probably be on December 1st. That's the time where someone says, I've been listening, I've been soaking this in, I've been asking questions, I like the answers to my questions. Yes, I want to continue. And I want to be a catechumen. I want to be embraced as a church, embraced by the church as one who is seeking. I don't know with absolute certainty, but yes, my intention is to be incorporated into the Catholic Church. We have that right of acceptance for those who are at that point at that time. That'll be about December 1st. Mm -hmm. um, and then, as we go through, it'll, there will be a, a third part which begins a, for those who are committed, who say, yes, I have made this decision, I want to receive the sacraments of baptism and or confirmation at the Easter Vigil, and then we begin that process. We, we, that's on March 9th, the rite of election and call to continue <coughs> conversion, which will take place at the cathedral, actually, in Cincinnati. Uh, and then we will go on. And then all the sacraments are received at the Easter Vigil, uh, which this year falls on uh, April 19th. Uh, and then we go from there. Okay? <laughs> so that's. Then we'll, then we'll continue actually till Pentecost Sunday, which is June 8th. And we'll try to, we'll reflect on the whole year, uh, especially the Easter Vigil, and try to deepen everything. So that's just an overview. You may have some questions, but uh, you may have a lot of questions, but I just wanted to give you an overview of the whole year, okay? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Uh, actually, uh, we're a little ahead of schedule, so <laughs> if, are there any questions that anyone has about any of this so far? Questions? No? Okay. Uh, well, how about this? At this point, let us actually, for those who would like, yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say something. Whenever there's an opportunity, you know, that, oh, there's there's five minutes, and Father Ezra wants to talk. <laughs> um, so, so as Father Jerome was was saying, the um, I, I know that the, the schedule it's really detailed, and it sounds like you're you're thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, look at all this text. This is a lot of text. Um, don't worry about that. Right now, the um, the goal of of all of this is to just just think about the next step is to think about where are you in your spiritual life 
And I think all of us were here at some point because we want to know Christ better and, um, and you want to you know, think about that journey. I'll share just a little bit. Yeah, go ahead. Thanks, <laughs> I'll talk about my for, former employment. But um, I, uh, I, I came into the church. Okay, so I'm a convert. And um, I converted to the Catholic Church when I was in college. I was a freshman in college. i have been thinking about it for a few years. And it's something that, um, for me, was a little bit scary because my father is a Baptist minister. My grandfather is a minister, and my great grandfather is a minister. And so, um, as you can imagine, I grew up, you know. Now, Protestants have this thing they talk about the preacher's kid. I, I wasn't really like that, which is kind of. And um, anyway, so so I grew up, you know, in a in a very um, active Protestant uh, household, and we talked about the faith a lot. But as time went on, I wanted to know more about the Catholic Church. And I was very attracted to the saints, especially. I remember seeing um, Mother Teresa, and then she died. And there were just many things that sort of drew me to the Catholic Church. And the Eucharist was another big point. And so as, as time went on, I wanted to learn more. And so as soon as I got out of my dad's house, and I lived in California, I went to the East Coast, I joined the RCIA. And that was really the beginning of me going deeper into all of those questions I had about, is it Christ found the church? Is this something that I can fit into? What it, you know, how does this work? What is it going to mean for my friendships, my family? And you know, it does involve um, a little bit of courage to try to take that first step. So that's what we're saying right now, is we're giving you sort of a, a map of the year, but we're also just saying, well, right now, just think about that first step and that's what you've done in, in showing up already and saying, you know, I'm willing to check it out to think about it more. So, that's what I want to say. All right, great. Well, uh, now we can have steps. <laughs> great. While you're up, please, those of you who would like, please, if, if there's any doubt, take the books, the Catechism, the New American Bible, and the Catechism for Adults. So, straight books. And we will be referencing those in the second part. So please partake.